If you are a developer and you're looking to get more clients in your local area, you need to watch this video. And I know you're probably asking yourself, why should I watch this video? Well, I'm gonna make it simple for you. My name is Joe Santos, AKA Coding Face. I have this YouTube channel here, and I also have a company called Coding Face. And I've been able to make millions of dollars independently, not from just a job, but independently as a developer, from freelancing, creating digital products, creating software as a service, microservices, niche sites. So pretty much I know what I'm talking about. Again, I have over 10 years doing this. Now, this is actually a preview from one of my courses called Profitable Developer. Now, I want to go in and give you guys this strategy so you guys can go in and implement it yourself. Now, everything that we're going to cover inside of this strategy, I actually cover it on the course itself. So I teach you every single step of what to do. But the strategy itself, it's here, it's golden. So yes, it's free right now, you get in the strategy. Now, if you know how to implement all of these things by yourself, great, you're gonna kill it. Now, if you don't, this is where I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna help you out inside of the course. But right now, let's go watch the strategy. Hey guys, this is your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. I'm super excited to have you guys in this section of the course. In here, we're gonna go in and cover everything that has to do with local freelancing and all of the steps that you guys gotta go through. Now, in this video specifically, we're gonna go through a overview of everything that we're gonna set up. It's a little bit different than what we did with you know, the third-party platforms like Fiverr, Upwork, et cetera, right? It's good that you already went through that part, but now we're gonna go in and take it up a notch. Again, it's not that you wanna go and choose one or the other, right? You want to do both. Okay. You already did the work on the online space, which is like creating your profile, creating your gigs. Now you have to go in and take it to the next level, which is going to be getting the clients in person. All right. So let's go in and let's take a look at this. So in here we have a diagram, right? Now it's very simple. We're going to start with your skill. You already know what it is that you want to go in and provide, right? It could be building a website. It could be creating some emails, creating some templates. You already thought out of the packages that you're going to prepare for giving, you know, to your customers as a service. Okay. So that's why we have this up here. Once you already have that figured out and you say, okay, this is what I'm going to do for my clients. Then now the next step is to build a website. Again, we're going on doing an overview, but I'm going to go into every one of these sections inside of this course. So this way you can know how to do it properly. But for now, I'm giving you the game plan. Okay. First of all, you're going to need a website. Now, this website is going to be not like your portfolio. It's a business website. It's a website that basically solves a problem, answers the person's question, and shows them what type of services you're going to be able to provide for them. And also give them examples. Okay. No one's going to go in and hire you without ever seeing some of your previous work. So you will have to go in and build some projects. Okay. This website sole purpose is for two things, right? Actually three, right? For them to actually see your work. Okay. And answer all of their questions that they might have. Then from there for you to capture their contact, right? So you want to have their email and their phone number. And on top of that, you want to set up a meeting. Now, people are not going to find you just because you have a website, right? You're going to have to actually promote this. This is where every one of these sections here come into play. So first of all, you're going to have to do in a basic local research. I'm going to show you guys how to do that, right? How to find businesses that don't have a website or might need some of your websites of services. Again, email campaigns, setting up some automations, whatever it is that you're doing. I'm going to show you guys how to actually find those um, different type of businesses locally. And that way you can actually reach out to them. Once you have this research done, you want to build a list. These are the people that you want to go in and contact either through the phone or you want to go in and direct them where right back to your website. Okay. Everything that we're going to do here is going to lead back to getting the person to go visit your website. The reason why we want that is because 
you also want to go in and set up retargeting ads and also capturing the person's emails. You now have access to that person where you can go in and say, hey, let me send out an email and tell them about my services. Maybe they respond, maybe they don't respond, but at least you have their contact and you're driving them to their website, right? Or to your website. So that way you can go in and convince them of your services. Okay. So again, you got to do some local research. Then from there, you also want to go in and join some of the best groups and forums for business owners. So that way you can go in and get that local community to know, hey, I'm a developer. Hey, I'm a marketing person. Hey, I'm a web developer. Hey, I'm an app developer. I'm a game developer, whatever, right? Whatever you do. Okay. You want to be part of your local business groups. That way people know, hey, if I need somebody to come in and do a website for me, guess what? I know a guy, right? He's in my group, right? He's on my Facebook group, etc. Okay. So this is very important. Community based. All right. The next thing that we have is social media. And I'm going to show you guys later on in the marketing section about social media and how to actually do social media properly to drive people to your website. Again, everything that we do is to drive them to their website, right? Because once you have them on your website, you could get their contacts. You could also tag them with a Facebook tag or TikTok pixel or Facebook pixel or Google tag, etc. right? You're going to be able to tag them and they can see your advertisement when you get to run them. Okay. Even if it's like six months later on down the line, when you decide to build, um, some ads, right. You are still going to be able to tag those people because they came to your website because they're interested in, it, right. They are only going to go to your website if they want to go and see your work and no one's going to go see your work unless they are actually interested in having your services done. Okay. So if they went there, it's for a reason. Then we also have the ads, right? You're going to have a way to actually go in, retarget ads, and also create different ads that reach out to your local area, not around the world. You could do that later on, but first focus on your local area. If you are able to do that, you're going to be golden and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right. You also have blogs and pages. This is where SEO comes into play. Let's say right now you are a Shopify developer and you live in the Chicago area. Guess what? If you are a developer in the Chicago area and when they search Shopify developer, Chicago, your website should be popping up there. How do you do that? This is where SEO comes into play. Okay. I'm going to talk to you guys about how to look for the right content and how to actually go in, uh, do research on, you know, what type of content you should create. So you could pop up on those search results. Again, we're going to target your local area. If you're in Atlanta, Georgia, you're in Miami, you're in Houston, Texas, right? You want to go in and niche down to your local area. I'm pretty sure there's different neighborhoods. Maybe you live in Richwood in Queens, New York, right? So that's New York state. Then there's New York city. Then it's Queens County. And then there's Richwood, right? That's the neighborhood. So that's how you want to start going in and target the, you know, the most close, uh, and smallest niche that you can. Okay. That's what's going to work for you. As you continue to grow, then from there you want to go in and start saying, well, I want people to find me throughout the whole state. But initially, just worry about your neighborhood. Okay. And then from there, you have traditional advertisements. What are traditional advertisements? Very simple. You have things like newspapers. You have things like uh, sending out letters. You have things like, you know, maybe you're sponsoring your local church. Right. Sometimes you go to, uh, I don't know, a high school football game and you see some banners. Guess what? You could go in and put that there. A lot of the people that, that go to these games or go to these community events, they're local business owners. Guess what? Get in front of them. Let them know you got a business. So all of these things need to be driving traffic to your website. But if you don't have a good website, you're not going to be able to convince the person that, guess what? 
uh, you're the go-to guy or the go-to girl, all right? So we're going to cover all of that in this section. Looking forward to helping you guys in this process. This is the strategy. This is what works. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the strategy that I just gave you right now and you follow it, okay? You set up all of these steps, you're going to win. This is a strategy that we use at a company that I used to work for back in Queens, New York, and this brought in hundreds of thousands of dollars per year of new customer, not the customers that were already there. Every year, they stacked up more and more customers that they got to actually keep, right? So again, once you use this strategy, it's going to bring you clients and customers to your business. Now, guys, if you know how to set up all of these things, that's the strategy you got to follow. If you don't and you want me to show you guys every step of the way of how to set all of these things up to make sure you have a successful freelancing business and you can have more clients coming in every single month, Guys, you need to watch this course. It's the Profitable Developer Course. It's available right now for pre-order. It's an early bird price, 75% off. Link's going to be in the description. And for anybody that's already a Diamond member, you pretty much get early access to it right now. If you are a Diamond member, remember that you have access to this course till June of this year. And then from there on, it's going to be full price. All right? So definitely go... And take the course, take advantage. And if you are not a diamond member to codingface.com, hey, buy the pre-order right now. Okay. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Take care. Peace.